This is Norman Alderman. I came here originally looking for Van's old beer joint. Well, I don't know for certain whether I found it, but I heard it was here. We're on state land, and I've discovered something far more than an old beer joint. This looks like a massive, extensive dump with no regard whatsoever to the asbestos content, the creosote content, none of that. This is unbelievable that the state of West Virginia, which I assume owns this because it's near the railroad track, would allow this stuff just to be dumped on the ground within earshot. I can hear the creek flowing right now. So it's not as if it's some strange things that's taken place. But it was strange to me when I came here looking for a dump and I ended up with <coughs> the land of a thousand dumps. Dumps here, dumps there, dumps everywhere. I don't see any sediment restraints whatsoever. Nothing to protect that creek which is right over there. Can you hear the creek flowing? That's how close we are. To add to that, it appears that that is some type of wetland over in there next to the creek. So what happens when the water comes up and this all goes down the mountain? Asbestos, lead-based paint, old pieces of wood, it's unbelievable. It's not just old pieces of wood. You can see for yourself, somebody decided to abandon some type of a set of doors here. It's incredible. Now there is activity, but it looks like attempting to kind of scoop it up once in a while. You can see that this has every sign of being a wetland. In fact, I probably could walk down here and show you just how wet it is. Yep, there it is. We actually have a lagoon there. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but that is an excess water lagoon. And you can see there's all examples of being a, a wetland here. I thought there was some sort of federal law against doing this to a wetland. The law says it has to be 15 days the water stays up to be classified a wetland. I don't think you would have any difficulty there. This is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. They call this the mountain playground. Well, I'm beginning to think it's a mountain dump. See what we're talking about here? Le those leaves haven't fallen. That means this stuff was dumped in there before the fall. Before now, and not very long before now. Of course, we have ruts where trucks have been doing this on a regular basis. I'm making a uh, little trip around here with the camera around it's really a cul-de-sac to give you an idea sorry about it being bouncy but I didn't bring my walking stick with me wow more stuff wood out here goodness knows what's on the kind of paint creosote creosoted logs I thought there was something against using creosote of course, maybe I'm mistaken. Now remember, right over there is the Greenbrier River Trail. It's a shame these hikers don't actually get off the trail long enough to take a look at what's going on. It might surprise them. Well, we've got ruts again. That means either this hasn't been here too long 
or they came in here when it was wet and have soaked it down. What a dump. Looks good here though. Maybe there's just certain places they allow to put their dump. I know one thing, they really don't want anybody coming in or going out of here. If you look at this rough road ahead of us, somebody had been in here, but they have plowed up some stuff. Now we're on the final leg of this cul-de-sac. Again, though, you can see that basically a pretty wet area. This is exactly, not exactly high and dry. Now I've completed this at the cul-de-sac. So I'll stop 